WooCommerce by WooThemes is one of the most popular and most used open source e-commerce plugin for WordPress with more than 4 million downloads. WooCommerce is completely free to download, but despite being free and open source, WooCommerce offers extensive features out of the box. It enables you to transform your WordPress website into a great looking e-commerce store. Today, we are very happy to announce that DAP 4.7 release will have full-fledged integration with WooCommerce. You can now sell your products through WooCommerce and have the membership account get automatically created in DAP. It does not matter what payment gateway you use to sell your product in your WooCommerce settings or what type of products you sell. You can sell physical, virtual, downloadable or subscription products and DAP can still automatically handle membership account creation upon successful payment. Even if your users add multiple items to the cart and try to purchase them all together, DAP will still automatically give users access to all of the products instantly. DAP also handles automatic cancellation and refunds with WooCommerce. And the integration is really simple. Just make sure that you have a product in DAP by the exact same name as your WooCommerce product. That's it, no other setup is required. As long as you are on DAP version 4.7 or above and the product names in WooCommerce and DAP matches, if the order status changes to complete in WooCommerce, DAP will at that point automatically create membership account. If the order status changes to cancel or refund, DAP will automatically remove the user's access to product or take action depending on whatever you have set the cancellation and expiration to do for that product. You will need the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, make sure that you have activated the free WooCommerce plugin. You will also need WooCommerce subscriptions extension if you want to sell subscription products using WooCommerce. Now this is not a free plugin. You will have to purchase it from the WooCommerce website. Uh, you can go to WooThemes and then go to WooCommerce extensions and you will find the Woo subscriptions plugin there. You can purchase it from there. Uh, without Woo subscriptions, you will not be able to sell subscription products using WooCommerce. I also downloaded and activated a free plugin called Stripe for WooCommerce. It allows me to use Stripe for collecting credit card payments on WooCommerce. Now a quick demo. Let's say a user comes into your store and decides to add one or more products to the cart. Let's say the user decides to add two one-time products and a subscription product to the cart and then they go to the cart summary page. Here they can see a list of all the products that they added to the cart. Now they decide to proceed to checkout. On the checkout page they can enter all their credentials uh, and then uh, pick how they want to pay and then complete the payment. Now as soon as the payment is completed DAP is going to automatically create a membership account for the user and also give user access to all of these products as long as there is a same name product in DAP. Now as soon as the purchase was completed, you will see here that DAP automatically created a membership account and gave this user access to all of these products in DAP. The user would have also received the welcome email that you would have configured for each of these products automatically right after the membership account was created. One important thing to note is that even if you sell subscription products through WooCommerce, define it as a one-time product in DAP. Set the subscription payment to no in DAP. That's because DAP only receives initial payment notification but does not receive subsequent payment notification upon each subscription payment. So if you set it up as a subscription product in DAP and the user only gets access to the first subscription cycle upon the first payment, then because there is going to be no more notification that DAP receives, the user will automatically lose access to content after the first subscription cycle. To prevent that, define the subscription product as a one-time product in DAP and set the membership duration to lifetime access. User purchases the subscription product and WooCommerce will make sure the user gets charged correctly based on the subscription settings in your WooCommerce uh, settings. But from DAP's perspective, the user will receive full access to the product right away. But even though the user gets full access, it does not mean that they will have access to all of the content at once. You can still control the content access using dripping. You can say what content is available on which day of their membership. And just because they have lifetime access, it does not mean that they can skip the dripping. They still have to follow the drip setting in terms of content access. Please note that DAP can only process orders that have a status of complete. If the order status is not completed, if it is in pending status or processing status, 
For example, if you sell physical products and it's not immediately set to completed, then DAP is not going to be able to create membership account. DAP can only create the membership account and give user access to content when the order status changes to completed. If you want your users to lose access to the product right away upon a cancellation or refund, then make sure that in DAP products page cancellation and expiration tab, set the expiration action to remove from product. This will allow DAP to automatically remove users access to product upon a cancellation or refund. This has been Aprishan. Thanks for watching.